we're going guys um we're just going to quickly remove the grill on our land cruiser here um need one of these and a phillips head now we're removing this because we've got one screw on the passenger side here i'm currently uh, painting the underbody of my truck and uh, i'm doing so with raptor liner if you have or have not heard of raptor liner if you haven't it's a really good quality it's originally a deck liner for the back of utes and so forth um, but it's also great for the underbody of vehicles so the reason we're going to what was i even talking about oh i'm so i'm wrapped the line is originally for utes um for the deck it's a bed liner it's really good quality uh it's very hard polyurethane 2k paint um and at 100 bucks a bottle it's not cheap either so there's two screws on the top, one clip in the middle right here, which was already loosened. And we got another two clips on the side and one screw in the middle. So in the middle is my winch solenoid control. Uh, it's just in the way of me getting the Milwaukee in there to undo that little screw, which is a pain. With a flathead screwdriver, we're just going to press our clips out. That's oh, a screw. So we got another Phillips head screw. Get at it from the front. One on the top, another one on the top, another one on the front. So I want to paint the grill in Raptor liner. It'll, I want to paint it in black anyway, and then I happen to get the Raptor liner for the underbody because I'm a bit anal like that. So I thought, man, it would look real cool if my grill was in black. I mean, I certainly want to change it anyways because I want I want some more airflow in there. So I've sort of been thinking about cutting it using some sort of um, mesh. Um, to create how can we get that one off here to create more airflow um, we're certainly looking at front mounting from the front mount intercooler on there as well so that's another thing to consider um, whether there's room for that or not I don't know The last screw's in the middle down there and that solenoid control box is in the way. I'm actually going to try and use a pair of pliers and unscrew the screw from the back. And if this doesn't work... Can't unscrew it from the back. But I am just pushing the plastic um, clip that the screw goes into through. So we'll just do that instead. Didn't quite have enough uh, bend in that screwdriver, so let's give it a wiggle. Just come in slowly. Get the screw a bit of a tap here. 
So we took the screw in, the clip that it retains it and everything with it, just as one piece. There we have it. Our Land Cruiser grill. Now it's only a centre piece. And if you just paint that a little bit funny because you do still have the chrome bits on the top of the headlights. They've only got two screws on them. And it's, I really like the design of this in comparison to say working on my old surf or forerunner, depending where you're from. Everything's one unit and this whole surround and even the bottom plates, excuse me, the bottom plates under the headlights are hard to get out. So I do like this kind of modular. So with two screws like that, off comes the chrome bit on top of the headlights. So that can be done too. Number two. So just here, we had two screws up here, one down there, another one on that tab, one on that tab, and then one obviously in this middle piece, but as I said, the solenoid was in the way, I couldn't get in. So we just sort of tap the retainer, the plastic retainer out of the back, pushed and tapped it out, so it's all out. Cool, now we can paint it and wrap the liner. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.